Hi guys, Styler here and welcome to another China smartphone unboxing and first hands on. In this video I'm going to show you the Elephone M2 in gold. The highlights are a thin full metal unibody that in fact is very similar in design to the one also found on the Huawei P8. The MediaTek 6753 octa-core clocked at 1.3 GHz. A 5.5 inch full HD 1080p display from LG with 400 ppi. 3 GB RAM plus 32 GB ROM, so there's a lot of storage, a 30 megapixel Sony IMX 214 main camera, press touch ID fingerprint scanner, notification LED and a 2600 mAh battery. So now let's do the unboxing. So we have the phone, let me just take this out and this one here is the gold version. Let me first place this one here and let's see what we else got inside the box. First of all, we have the wall charger branded with the Elephone logo. We have here the specifications, standard 5 volt, 1 amp, made in China, standard USB cable. We have a quick start guide in English. There's a small pin to open up the SIM tray. And last we have some screen protectors, so two for the back and also two for the front. Nice that they are including some extras. And there will also be a pre-installed screen protector on the phone when you get the phone. But uh, I just removed this so we could have a better look at the glass. And uh, you see here the very nice design. Very nice gold finish. Unibody in full metal. And the back side here looks nearly as on the Huawei P8. And here we also see two speaker grills, a very nice design. And we have the home button and integrated in this one is a fingerprint scanner. So it support press touch ID, so you just have to place the finger and it will unlock. Notice that the, there will be no backlight in the back and menu buttons. And uh, in top we actually find a notification LED in single color in red. We have the front facing camera, the ear speaker and proximity sensor and light sensor. We see the buttons here in the side and they feel okay solid. And here in the bottom we see two speaker grills. I believe it's not real stereo, the sound will just come out of both. We have the micro USB port in the center and the microphone. On this side here we will find the SIM tray. In the top we find the 3.5mm headphone jack together with a noise cancelling microphone. And let's have a look inside the SIM tray. Let's have a close up. So it's dual micro SIM. But it also support TF card. But not three cards at the same time, you have to choose. Maximum two cards. On the back side we find a 13 megapixel rear camera. We have here a single LED flash, we have the Elephone logo, a CE logo, and we see these parts here are made of plastic, so the reception still will be good, while this part here is fully made of metal. Let me do a 360 degree. So I have now made the first setup and prepared some test apps. And let's test out the fingerprint scanner on the front. So I will just place my thumb. And you can see it unlocks. Let's try this again. 
okay and once again yeah let me try with another finger not learned so you can see this is not accepted please try again let me try this one here yeah so this is working great let me just show you the lowest brightness you just saw the highest so let me set this about here full HD let me scroll a little bit the UI so I already prepared some test apps and let's see the app drawer seems to be snappy let's have a look in the quick toggles and also in the settings support for hot knot let's see the storage so you see here we have a lot of storage available support for sd card Let's see in accessibility, we have smart wake, double tap to wake, slide up to unlock and so on. Off screen gestures, about phone. So you see the build number, Android version 5.1, model number, support for OTA, wireless update. Let's test out the notification LED. And this one here is only in single color in red, but you can see it works. And in fact, I also already tested this in the mail app. So when I get mails, it will work. And here I look inside CPU X. Let's see the specifications on the CPU. We also see here bootloader baseband version and kernel version and the GPU. We have the system. We have up to five sensors built in. And these are the most needed sensors, I would say. So uh, that's it for the first look and hands-on video. I will bring more about this phone later, so just stay tuned on my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.